this on. Hello. Hello. What's up, YouTube? Doop, 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 doop. Another episode of the Driveway Bros. How you like it now? So, that truck has a fifth wheel that's high as crap. That truck has a fifth wheel that's high as crap. And the boom trailer, my friend Leland, the boom trailer, yeah. The hydraulic lift on that boom trailer can't get up high enough to clear the, uh, the fifth wheel. So what we did, do you guys see this? When the lows, cinder blocks, some lumber, some chalk. We laid the front end of the boom trailer on the frame of the truck, right? And then you put in your brakes so the, the, the truck doesn't slide forward and the trailer doesn't drop. Raise up the wheels. We put all of that down there for those wheels so it has a higher platform to lift up. The truck I'm driving way back there is bumper to bumper with this truck because since everything is so high, other people might be in easier situation, but the situation we found ourselves in is that when we back up this fifth wheel into that kingpin, we don't want that truck to jump those chocks right there. So by bumpering the bumpering that other truck, it's gonna be no damage and this whole setup right here ain't going nowhere. So now that we got it up on the higher platform, as you can see, we're clear. So now, time to get it in the fifth wheel, baby. Please watch. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hmm, we got a problem. We're gonna fix it and uh, yeah. All right, YouTube, we're back. Finally got it right. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna discuss some points here. So, shut up, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. So how's about it, man? How about we describe what was going on here? What happened? All right. So once we got it centered, got it lined up, bumped in, we did a little tug test, made sure it was locked in place. Now it's a lot of lift, but it's really unavoidable because the axle, the chains to the frame to the truck had to go back here. There was no room to put it anywhere else. Okay, and this chain, so everybody sees. Yeah, it's going from the frame of this trailer through the frame of the truck. That's what holds this truck up in the air. So now what we're going to do is let off of this tire and just let all of the weight be supported by the two fifth wheels. Okay, so describe let's, let's describe this, this setup and why it's important that we have a chalk in the front and a chalk in the back. Because what happens is these wheels don't lock. They, these wheels always roll. And when they're in the air, they free roll. So right. when you're trying to put something in the air, once weight gets on these wheels, they tend to shift. Now we got these things up in the air. If we don't put chocks, just one on this side and one on that side, as you start to put weight on it, it could have rolled, it would have fallen down, would have destroyed the frame over here, it would have been a hot mess. That's not what we want. We're right. not trying to and, break anything. And we only have two chocks because that's the only thing extra we have. If you got more chocks, please. Yeah, if you had if you had four chocks, you put one on each side on both on both sides. Right. But one on each end, opposite ends, did okay. the trick. So now we're gonna take this off here. So now all the weight is gonna be supported by the fifth wheels on each end.
Yeah, I'm gonna back up and describe again the scenario that we ran into. See, what we're doing is he's running this boom load, truck one, trailer, truck two, in tow. I'm running a single right there, okay? So we back up into that truck, hook it up, put the truck on top. The front end of this trailer right here couldn't lift up high enough to clear to get into that fifth wheel. These, these trucks and these fifth wheels are very high. Higher than that axle, than the, uh, the, the axle was able to lift up the entire unit at its maximum. So what we had to do was we had to put the front end of that trailer on the back end of that frame, that truck frame right there. Leave, putting the truck in park so nothing moved back or forward. And on the front end because when we knew that he had a bump back into the fifth into the kingpin being so high what we didn't want to happen was that front tire right there hop that chop the the chalk right there i don't know if you guys can see it but so what i did was i put my truck at the very front bumper to bumper to where there's going to be no damage so if it did hop the chalk or want to hop the chalk that truck would have prevented this truck from being a runaway in that direction so that's how i blew my quad out to begin with a runaway truck right okay so and and we'll talk we'll discuss about we'll discuss that injury a little bit later <laughs> but uh yeah because that's important for you guys to know so okay so once we put the front end of that truck on the back frame of this one what we did was we put these hydraulic lift wheels on this our own made our own platform when the lows you go to hardware store, whatever, we got four cinder blocks for each side, and we got the wood. You guys are probably like, well, why'd you get so much? Whatever. If you guys could do something better, then that's great, but this is what we got, and this is what we did. Um, so that way, this v these wheels had a platform. Now, you could have done it maybe longer this direction. However you guys want to do it is whatever. That's, that's not the important thing. So we put the chocks, one on each side. That way, these wheels, when because see there's there's going to be movement when you're putting these trucks together what you don't want is for this axle to fall off of that platform that would ruin everything the front end would have fell on these tires because these tires sit higher than the frame and it could have busted those up we could have had problems over here um that front kingpin because now you have a platform this trailer could actually go even higher than the kingpin even though i mean the uh, fit the fifth wheel even though the fifth wheel is high as crap already and when you go bumping into it if you don't if you don't go get close get out look you know always get out and look double check triple check quadruple check that kingpin can hop that fifth wheel and go over it and if you don't have a means if that thing doesn't go high enough to be able to come back over in this direction you're pretty screwed you're probably gonna have to get a wrecker but one thing that you can do hopefully is that it, it isn't it hasn't fallen too far down or or your your platform is just high enough what you could do is you could dump the air out of the out of your lead truck so the frame and the fifth wheel come back down push the back end of the fifth wheel up and get that kingpin back over to this side um, so yeah so now now we're good to go this is by far the highest the highest we've ever had the truck like that i know on camera and in, in video it doesn't seem like much but to us it's like holy shit so you know look at all that clearance yep but now we're hooked up and uh we can hit the road right now where are we at uh leland we're Weirton, West Virginia. Weirton, West Virginia. Right on the Ohio border. Yes, sir. And we're heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, a thousand miles. So we got a good a good hump ahead of us. Yeah, we've already been working this week. We've already been, we've already done a whole week's worth of work. We started off in uh, in uh, in Florida. South in South Carolina actually, and those trucks didn't come through, so we had to deadhead all the way to Florida to our next trucks. Picked up some some Walmart trucks down in Alachua. Took them up to Walmart in Lewiston, Maine. 1,300 miles. 1,300 miles. Then four hours over to Vermont. Vermont. Yep, went to Vermont. Ran those down to uh, Jersey. Ma Jer Maple, um, Shade. Maple Shade, New Jersey. 
and then 15 minutes from there or 30 about 35 miles from there in Vineland, New Jersey picked up two picked up two supposed no. to be going to Pittsburgh right they're supposed to go to Pittsburgh he had the runs I did it I was just gonna ride passenger on that one got to the <laughs> Walt Whitman Bridge going into Philadelphia and they canceled the trip so we had to turn around Go back to the pickup location and undo everything and deadhead all the way over here to West Virginia. So, you know, we're trying this right here, this issue, this problem we've had with that has literally taken us all day. We've never run across this issue before. We know there's boom drivers out there who've had this issue before and, and they've easily, you know, been able to overcome it. This is something new for us. So it's something that we had to kind of just figure out on our own. We didn't call anybody or anything like that, and it works. Um, more than likely, I'm pretty sure other guys have done exactly this because it just seems like the right thing to do. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's way up there. Um, so uh, a lot of you guys are more mechanically inclined. You know, maybe you guys are more engineered inclined, however the heck you want to say in that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the solution to that that we we found out. Now, when you if you're out here by yourself or anything, you're probably not gonna have another truck to be able to do that with. My recommendation is buy some big chocks, big chocks. Um, yeah. So like, so here's the thing. All right, the other thing is, uh, you when you do this and you're ready to go, don't forget you're gonna have to take that platform with you, unless you're willing to go and buy that again. And I don't know how you're gonna go and buy that again without your vehicle on the ground. So figure that out. We're just gonna take it with us. We're gonna put as much as we can on that truck. That way we'll have it when we get to the drop off. And uh, and then actually from there, we're gonna have another load heading back to Illinois. So um, there's gonna be more to this video. And for right now, Leland, See you in Oklahoma. All right, now we're gonna attempt to, to dismount it. We're over here at the drop off. Back on. Platform's holding up. Got the truck dismounted. We gotta unplug the. <laughs> we gotta unplug the the, the uh, air hoses and everything. But it seems uh seems like we're gonna have a really good day here. See how this is what we were trying to tell, explain how we're gonna put it on the frame first. And now I'm gonna put, put this airbag back up. I think it's all. I think it's. Or is it still, is it on? Yeah. Yeah, it's up. So we're going to, I may have to back up some more. I may have to go forward some more. Oh, can we do anything? Let's get these off. Tear these up. That was, that was easy. Boots everywhere. The ribs. Yeah, don't forget that, people. We'll spin the rest in a little bit. All right, this is what we wanted to show you. Put it down on the frame. Now we can lift up these axles. We're going to come back. Let uh, me get. Let me go around. A bit.
for kick everything out. Okay. This side's fine. Other, use the uh, the there you go. There's it's free, yeah. Now all he has to do is pull forward and then he's dumping the airbags so we can have proper clearance. He's gonna pull forward and then we'll be able to set the entire, those back axles on the ground and be able to dismount the pickup truck properly. And I apologize if this is some crappy filming. It's just that we're working and doing it at the same time. There's a lot of movement going around here in this yard, but uh, Hopefully you can see this and understand how it works or understand this concept anyways. Remember people, job's not, job won't be a complete success till those wheels hit the ground, so. Cinder blocks, some hardwood. Yeah, I don't know what kind of hardwood. We found it over there. It works, and that's all that matters. got a choice so uh, alright we'll talk to you guys in a little bit we we'll put the ramps down put the truck down and get the heck out of here Leland successful day you